Thanks for stopping by to check out another fun-filled video from Vintage Audio Review. In this episode, we're going to check out this 1982 Sansui P-L51 fully automatic direct drive linear tracking turntable. I got this for me to check out and I was very intrigued with the way that it worked and thought I would share what it does with you. I've seen some videos on YouTube but they really are not very clear and they don't go into some of the neat things that I found out. So pull up a bag of popcorn and watch all the miraculous things this turntable does. Okay let's lift up the cover, turn on the power. So as you can see the red LED is on and what that does is reflect light off the record and a sensor picks up that reflected light and determines where the large grooves are in the record that indicate the next song is at hand. In order to play we just come over here and hit the button and to give it a sec okay there we go if I wanted to move to a different spot I could lift the tone arm up and you could move it over to the right or the left drop it back down and there you go there's some controls over here that allow you to go to a specific track like if I wanted to play track oh let's say six I can press that it's gonna move over to the end and then it'll swing back till it hits six you don't hear anything because it mutes it for about 16 or 17 seconds it appears before it starts playing so it plays back into the song before this and then mutes it and then when the song comes up that you want to hear it will play it I'm not really sure I want to hear that one but this is kind of just a test record that I had but anyway that's kind of what it does you can program it to play several different tracks in whatever order you want and this actually could be connected to a Sansui receiver and tape deck and it would start the tape deck to record those songs which would have been really cool in 1982 I suppose. It also has a uh, continually repeat so it'll repeat the record over and over if you wanted it to. So the other neat feature that this thing has is something called intro skip and we'll press that and what it does is it'll go down and it'll play the first few seconds we'll see how long it is of each song and then move to the next song I'm editing it out but there was probably a 16 or 17 second delay before it started playing the next song and there it goes on and it will continue to do that. As I said it mutes it for about 16 or 17 seconds and then starts playing. So it's kind of a cool feature and then you can cancel it by pressing it again and it'll just continue uh, playing where it was at. We have two switches here on the top of the turntable. This one here is the sensitivity switch which has a low, medium and high position and it is used in the LED circuit here to determine how sensitive the circuitry is to the groove distance that indicates you've switched songs. The other switch here is the speed switch and it has a normal and an inverse position. Normally it's on normal but if you had a record, a 12 inch record say that was recorded at 45 RPM and I have many of those from my disco DJing days and you wanted to play it on this turntable you would put it in the inverse and it would know that you have a 12 inch record and it would play that record at the normal speed. Likewise if you had a 7 inch record which is normally a 45 RPM speed 
it was recorded at 33 RPM. If it was on the inverse, this thing would move over, detect that it's a smaller record, and play it at 33 and a third. So that's kind of the scoop on this turntable. It sounds pretty good as far as I can tell, and it's a real pleasure using it. So, I thank you, Ian, for providing me something <laughs> that I could use for another video. I also thought it would be fun to try out what happens when we put on a 45 RPM record, so here we go. I would say it did pretty good. We'll stop it. So I wanted to show just a little bit different view of the turntable so you could watch the arm come over and go down a little bit better. The other view focuses in on the front rather than the rest of the turntable and I thought it would be nice to just show this close-up view of the tone arm. And we'll raise it up and there you have it. And thanks for stopping by and if you haven't subscribed please do too and I would welcome any comments you may have. Have a good day or night.